Hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode in my Skyrim mod series. I really hope you like the new intro because I spent almost a day making it. I think it looks pretty nice. But I mean, that's just me. On to the next mod. The first one is the Peaceful Menu and Music by Cdex. Well, the description kind of says it all. It's peaceful. It's a peaceful screenshot. Very soothing music. Has a bit of an Asian theme to it. So I'm just gonna let you listen to the music now and you can decide for yourself if this is the way you wanna start your Skyrim experience. The second mod of the day comes by the author of Night of the Living Mannequins, which we recently covered after he pretty much wiped all of the population of Skyrim with mannequins. Now he's decided to make a Conjurable Living Mannequin. This is Conjure Living Mannequin by German. So you can find the mannequin and his spellbook in the market of Whiterun. You can just pick up the book, read it and then find out that you don't have enough magicka to cast the spell. But after a short console fix we did have enough magicka. And then the spell looks like this. Your own living mannequin with a Daedric Greatsword on his back. Pretty awesome. The author of the next mod has got Riverwood overrun by a bunch of orcs. And not just regular orcs, these orcs are straight out of Lord of the Rings. And one orc in particular, which is the bad guy Lurtz, which we all remember from one of Sean Bean's many death scenes. You can talk to Lurtz and he will follow you. And just like in the movies and the books, Lurtz has a bow and he also has the typical Urukai armor, blade and shield. In my case, Lurtz didn't really want to put on his armor, but his shield and his blade are pretty cool. And also the mannequin is pretty awesome. He's basically a Daedric creature in a mannequin disguise. He also makes the same sounds as the Daedra do. Here we have the Vampire Fortress player home by Tavarth. It is a work in progress, however still worth covering because especially the outside is very very beautiful, very atmospheric. A small fortress but nonetheless pretty impressive.
well, he needs some work. But the exterior of the fortress does not need that much work. There are crafting stations, you can get a few potions, there are two NPCs which you cannot interact with, but maybe that'll be available in a future update. There's a bath for some reason. And here's the entrance to your home. Inside it is very dark, really. I had to crank up the brightness in order for you to see anything. And behind this trapdoor, which currently doesn't work, the author will make very soon a basement and a trophy room. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Endorse the mods if you enjoyed the mods and I will see you later. Goodbye.